Welcome to Digital Asset News, the top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets, and break them down to bite-sized pieces. Today, I just want to talk about three things. First of all, Bitcoin is not a security. Tether is not a security. Celsius is a security. And why? This is actually great news that I found out about Celsius. So let's back up, first of all. Let's take a look at why we consider Bitcoin out of security. And this was actually in front of the House Appropriations Committee uh, before Congress. The former chairman of the SEC, Jay Clayton, who is out right now, was asked by Congressman Stewart to clarify his view on essentially Bitcoin. And this was in April 2018. And he states, Bitcoin, a pure medium of exchange, the one that's most often cited, is Bitcoin as a replacement for currency that has been determined by most people to not be a security. So I know there's a bunch of different things going around, especially in the Twitterverse where, well, now that XRP is going this whole thing with the SEC, then of course, then the whole cryptocurrency space will be doomed. That's not true. Uh, they have to take a look at a lot of different factors. And one of those is uh, Bitcoin's on a security. Also, they've alluded to the whole fact of Ethereum being the same way. So let me back up even farther. So I'm gonna talk to you real quick about what would be considered actual security. And this is the Howey test. And this Howey test was created a long time ago, so it really doesn't stand up to you know the um, the complexities of the future or of right now what's going to happen. But we got we have to take it for what it is because that's all we got. So there's four criteria, and the three really doesn't really make too much of a sense, right? Investment of money, okay, great, everybody invests money, and then the third one, the investment of money is in a common enterprise. Sure, you can say that, and then any profits comes from the efforts of a promoter or a third party. Well. Uh, with Bitcoin, it doesn't happen because it's so decentralized. And that's what they talk about. If it's decentralized, then it's not really a third party because it's decentralized throughout. It's not a centralized product. And that, that is one of those issues. And the second one is, what I want, is why I want to really harp on before we get into the Tether story. And it talks about there is an expectations of profits from the investment. So here's one of those things about Tether. I don't see how you can get profits from Tether uh, from investing in a tether because it's, it's pegged to the dollar and some people say well you can you can make profits by by spending it on other cryptocurrency that, that doesn't make any sense so it's pegged to the dollar you're not going to hold tether and you know make a bunch of money because it's, it's pegged to the dollar they'd be like going well i'm going to buy a uh, shovel and i'm going to make a bunch of money because i'm going to pay i'm, I'm going to have people uh pay me as a shoveler and uh that's how i'm going to make money it, it doesn't make any sense so tether is not going to be a security but this was actually just came out a couple hours ago and i want to go over this real quick before we get into the whole thing with celsius so what the heck is going on well this is ki young ju and uh he is the ceo at crypto quant and he states if sec's next target is tether it's going to be very very bad for this bull run as the market heavily relying on usdt usdc the most legally regulated stablecoin will eventually replace usdt and uh, of course kiong ju over there at crypto quant has a vested interest in uh usdc so arduino who is the cto at bitfinex who they are responsible for tether dismisses the rumors and accuses the former ki young ju of spreading misinformation here's what he states reminder tether is registered and regulated under fincen as all the centralized competitors are strict kyc aml is applied to all tether direct users as the other main issuers are doing less regulated is just fud ask yourself who benefits from spreading such information so sure understandable the big thing about tether though is about the audit people are always saying well do you really have the billions of dollars that it is supposed to be pegged to or not and that is the big thing but that is something completely different from being registered as a security which i do not think it is from what we just talked about and it's not just me economist alex kruger insists that the sec will not be targeting tether kruger argues that the sec wouldn't target tether because the stablecoins issues are not related to unregistered securities and would fall under the purvey of a different agency and this is jake chervinsky if you don't know jake he's a lawyer specializing in cryptocurrency and he also thinks it's unlikely the sec uh, is the agency that will go after tether because stable coins are just about the hardest thing to classify as a security again what we just talked about as far as expecting profits from investing in a tether is uh makes no absolutely no sense so that clears up that section now let's get to something that is pretty interesting to me and that is that celsius has been registered as a security so what's going on here i didn't know this so this was good that uh daily huddle actually put this out so celsius has shot up by more than 84 percent in value which is kind of crazy but good for all you holders including myself uh 
newsflash, I am uh, biased because uh, I own Celsius and Bitcoin and Ethereum, all the things that I talk about. So that's just how it is. And this is what Alex says from, uh, he's the CEO of Celsius. All the coins that may be deemed a security are down 20 to 50%. XRP, XLM, XEM, TRX, XE, all that stuff. This was interesting. Crow, which is the uh, crypto.com. While the only token that registered with the SEC is up plus 42% in 14 days. I was like, huh, I didn't know they registered with the SEC. We'll get to that in a second. It was only trading at around 46 cents in August, and it's gained a whopping 3,765% year to date. Yeah, it's been a pretty crazy run. In addition to being registered with the SEC, Celsius Network also recently announced the competition of an audit of its assets through a partnership with Chainalysis. This is what Mashinsky said. Our relationship with our 230,000 community members are built on trust because they count on us to act in their best interests and have access to unique curated financial services, products and rewards, and so on and so forth. With the validation of a third party, we're providing additional transparency into our business, which remains one of the industry's most reliable, secure and rewarding platforms for putting unparalleled economic freedom in the hands of people. So great. So this is fantastic news. I like when these things happen. This is actually, at, this didn't just happen recently. It was actually December 9th. And there was a, the third party chain analysis came in and said, we're going to do an audit to make sure that you actually have 3.3 billion of assets uh, that you claim to have. They went in there, they did that. And they said, yes, uh, you absolutely have that. So I like to see other type of entities come in and do and do some type of audits because i mean we do that with the fda we do that with our hospitals we do that with a lot of businesses for osha and things like that so why shouldn't we do that with our cryptocurrency where it actually is stored if you're going to talk about centralized finance like uh, a tether like a celsius and all those things so it makes sense to me and actually I, this is another reason why i'm big on cardano when when Charles Hoskinson is always talking about it's backed by science and peer reviewed, what they do is they get they have independent people uh, come in just like you would do with a, uh, a drug company and say, we need a third party to evaluate uh, these types of medications. In this case, it would be Cardano to see if this would actually work in a real world situation. And that's why they, they talk about we have all these papers and da, 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 da. It's because they reach out to other third party entities. OK, so let's get in the meat of this about what Celsius actually is as far as a registered security or what's going on with it being registered, if it actually is a security. So. There is a the website Celsius.network. Why trust Celsius? It's a pretty good uh, page to put up, especially if you want to have people trust you a lot. They pretty much just go, you know, about what it is, what's going on, and then they talk about license and regulations here. And then if you scroll down here, April 2018 SEC regulation. If you click on the D file, it'll go right to the SEC.gov website, and there's two documents. So you have both of them. July, or actually April 30, 2018, was the initial file. Then there was an update in July 13th. If you click on documents right here, it'll take you to the next page. And it'll say, this is Form D, Notice of Exempt Offering of Securities. And I'm like, hmm, what the heck is that? So if you look it up, uh, Form D, the federal securities laws, requires a notice to be filed by companies that have sold securities without registration under the Securities Act of 1933 in an offering made under rule, blah, blah, blah. Okay. A company must file this notice within 15 days after the first sale of securities in the offering. So what it looks like to me is that Celsius went ahead and said, yes, we are and have sold securities and we want to register that with the SEC because we want to stay in compliance. Okay. So if we click on here, the primary document, this is going to open up the SEC Notice of exempt offering of securities. And if you scroll down about three quarters of the way down, it's going to state the type of securities offered. And this is, and just to back up real quick, uh, this is from Celsius Network. Jurisdiction is in the UK within the last five years. Here's the last name, Mashinsky, Alex. Here's their corporate address and blah, blah, blah. And then when you scroll down again, you can see where it says types of securities offered. And right here it says other purchase agreement for cryptocurrency. So yes, it is 100% a security. It is registered with the SEC. So there is no risk of the SEC coming down on Celsius because they've already registered. So this is great news because this is one of the things that I had in the back of my mind. I'm like, uh, why isn't uh, you know Celsius a security? Because it kind of fits that mold of what we just talked about as far as the, the Howey test. Now me as an investor, I like to minimize my risk for the potential greatest upside. That's why I've uh, got 50% of my portfolio in Bitcoin and Ethereum and the rest, the alts. I mean, I don't know, but I have invested pretty heavily as well. But again, uh, the lion share, Bitcoin and Ethereum. Um, and that's just how I see it. Now, with this news, what I just discovered today, 
I have been even, I'm going to be even more bullish on Celsius. And yes, it has skyrocketed in price. If we take a look at uh, coingecko.com, you can take a look here at Celsius Network today. Just this week, when I'm 72%, it's at $5. Uh, and it's just been on a, a absolute tear. It kind of reminds me of a Binance coin where it was like nothing, like a couple bucks. And all of a sudden it went to like 30, 40, $50. So this makes me quite bullish on it because I mean, look, SEC, there's no problems there. It's got a great community. It's got a guy who's doing AMAs all the time. It's got the best rates as far as loans. If you took a look at my, my video where we talked about the alternatives to cashing out. So this is what I'm going to do. I had put out a video a couple days ago, eh, about a week ago. And I talked about how I only DCA four tokens right now. I bought a lot more of other things, but these are the ones that I buy every single day. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, and Voyager. And you can watch that video and I'll explain exactly why I have those four. Now I have, you know, others, but these are the ones that I buy every single day. But I will just say this, with what I see with the community, with where I see that Celsius is going, especially with Alex behind the wheel. Remember, this guy has already been a successful entrepreneur. He's had multiple exits, I think three exits for billion dollar companies, which are still around and doing quite well. I've never had a problem with Celsius, even when they had that issue with their website. I had Alex come on the show and he explained to everybody exactly what happened, totally transparent. I mean, look, it's... Uh, does it get much better than that? That's all I can ask. I have to ask the questions, get much better than that. And especially with the price action. So I think as time goes on, people really want to go somewhere where they can trust and believe in. Trust is a currency you can't buy. And I trust Celsius. I've actually got 15% of my entire portfolio on that platform. So I will still keep DCing a four, but as I've talked about before, I am going to stop buying Bitcoin when it's 30,000. I've explained exactly why. You can watch that video. I'll link at the very end. So what I'm going to start to do is actually, as soon as Bitcoin switches over above 30,000, I will buy Celsius. So right now, actually, I'll be DCing a five. And then when Bitcoin hits 30,000, I'm going to stop uh, buying into Bitcoin and buying into Celsius. I mean, I've got, look, I've been DCing since 2017. I've been dollar cost averaging for three years and, um, I, you know, I can only put so much in. I mean, I put a, a good chunk. We'll just say that. So this will be my next one. Now then, if you want to learn how to buy Celsius, because you can't get any exchanges right now, uh, just go over to danteacherscrypto.com. It's my 100% free website. You can click on the start learning and then just sign up. Once you log in, obviously watch this video right here. It's going to explain exactly how to navigate the whole thing. But uh, for this one, there's five different modules, the basic safety investing reviews and how do I. You'll click on how do I. And then as you scroll down, it'll be the couple ones down here. How do I buy Celsius right there? So that is it. So uh, thanks for watching all the way to the end. I really appreciate it. Uh, I, it was a little bit, uh, not too long, I don't think, but uh, a lot of good information. Hopefully this clears some things up as far as what is going on out there. So thanks again for watching. If you like these types of videos, maybe two more that's going to pop up on your left and right, right, right now. I don't know which ones. YouTube does its own little magic. And uh, that is it. So thanks again, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.